Hi Pisces and welcome to your December monthly predictions reading. It is so lovely to have you here. We're going to be focusing on December in general, having a look at the main themes you can expect in the month ahead and then I will also be briefly looking into love predictions for you. There'll be a more in-depth love prediction in the middle of this month. Excuse me, the only reason I'm touching on love is because I missed the mid-monthly predictions in November, unfortunately. So we're going to briefly look at that in the last couple of minutes. Stay tuned for that. Otherwise, this reading is intended for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venuses. If you are not a Pisces and you are here cross-watching, you're more than welcome to stay. But I need you to know that I'm a very honest reader. So consider this your warning. You may hear or see something you do not like. Spirit, what can Pisces expect in the month of December? December. What is a key theme for Pisces in December? Okay, we have victory coming out for you. Cute. What is a major theme in the month of December for Pisces? What is a major theme in the month of December for Pisces? Okay, we have fossilized wood coming out for you. Ooh. At the back of the deck, we've got some turquoise energy. I won't always show you the back of the deck energy, by the way. Um, we'll just see when it comes out. If it is something that needs to be shared. Turquoise reverse, that's interesting. Some subconscious feelings and fears coming to the surface here. Anxiety could play a role, sweet soul. We have side real space. Okay, there seems to be a void for you in the month of December. You're trying to put something together and have a look at how it's all going to work out. A lot of you are having a huge shift and you may need to focus on your finances in December because there is a feeling here of accidentally overspending or not budgeting correctly to the point where you're, you're actually in a deficit in the new year. So just be wary of how much you're spending in December, especially you. I didn't get this message for any other signs. It's preventable. It's just about keeping um, your expenses in check. The other thing is there's a lot of warnings here about your fears, your anxiety, and you acting impulsively without fully understanding how you feel. Now, the reason why this message has come out, because I think there is confusion with the turquoise card reversed, and this confusion has you not thinking clearly when you're making decisions. Um, decisions could be made from a place of fear or from a feeling of missing out. And then that could be what is pushing your sense of detachment from the overall goal and from the main sort of outcome. You're just trying to do instantly gratifying things that make you feel better right here, right now. These are all shadow attributes to be careful of. They're not necessarily predictions that will come true. It's just good to be aware of that kind of behavior happening because it's all going to come together with Constellation and either it's going to be really, really good or it's going to be very, very much of a rude awakening. So let's have a look at your first theme here with victory spirit. What is this victory energy for Pisces in the month of December? What is this victory energy for Pisces in the month of December? We have the page of cups upright. What is this victory energy for Pisces? We also have the Nine of Cups upright. What is this victory energy? We have the Seven of Wands upright. I think the Seven of Wands has come out for most signs one way or another. We have the Three of Swords reversed on my days. Okay, so <sighs> you can't lose if you're doing what you know is best for yourself, but it does feel like your sense of victory is stemming off somebody else's loss especially with the Three of Swords reverse. You may be avoiding a difficult conversation in order to salvage your own well-being, but it also feels like you're having to distance yourself from a situation that wasn't going anywhere. And I think with the Three of Swords reverse, we're either avoiding looking at it, talking about it, or we're having to kind of push it away from us because we're not being given any answers. So we have to move
move forward. I think with the Page of Cups upright, some of y'all are in a situation in which apologies may be owed, but I think that the best way moving forward in order for your well-being is to just keep the energy fun and light, make sure that you're not engaging in anything negative in terms of behavior or communication. And with the Seven of Wands, it feels like it takes courage for you to be able to move forward and choose what is best for you and your happiness. So December, a major month here is definitely success in your emotional well-being, but it feels like you have to really fight for this. You have to really put your energy into it and stand up for what you deserve, which also looks like you separating from someone or a situation in which you can't get the answers or you can't get the outcome you want. So what is the advice in this situation for Pisces? Okay, we're going to keep that covered because apparently we got to ask some more questions first. Spirit, what else does Pisces need to know about this victory situation? What else does Pisces need to know about this victory situation? Okay. We have the Four of Swords reversed. Okay, so your actions matter. Even if you don't know what to do, just it's better than doing nothing. Your feelings matter. Don't let anybody invalidate them. But there's a lot of confusion here over how to move forward. How do they get to victory? What is the victorious outcome here? We have the Two of Cups reversed. Your victory comes from you separating yourself from somebody. And giving yourself a clean break is what it feels like. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, giving yourself a clean break. It does feel like someone may be trying to manipulate you or they may say something to you that really, really, really hurts in December, especially with the Queen of Swords reversed. It could be that this person is really cold or that what they say really cuts you. Their opinion of you seems to really matter to you. Um, could even be a mother figure for some of you. The star reversed. You have a past with this person. You may have even thought you had a future with them, but I think that you need to heal a lot in the present in order to be able to move on. And a lot of that healing is healing with self sweets. That star card is about individuality. Um, and I think that as much as you may want answers or certain things to come from somebody else, you may actually just have to settle with the fact that you're not going to get what you want, especially with the five of pentacles. There feels like you're having to accept that the situation is what it is and it's not helpful. It's not kind of growing. It's not leading anywhere. And so you're having to kind of look at other things for your future. I think your victory comes from choosing your own well-being and that may be even looking at other opportunities or what else is out there for you. This doesn't feel like a love thing from a lot of you, like it could be, but it could also be a workplace that is really taking from you and impacting your mental health and well-being as well. So your advice is the Eight of Cups, walk away, leave the situation in the past and make sure that you don't leave anything unsaid. Make sure you communicate and make sure you do what you need to do. It may not be what you want to do, but it is what you need to do. Move forward and don't look back is the vibe there. Let's have a look at your second theme now with the fossilized wood energy. What is this fossilized wood energy for Pisces? It's feel like very specific messages. So if they don't resonate 100%, you could have messages in your other signs. Sun, moon, rising is a good place to start for general messages. What is this fossilized wood energy about, Spirit, for Pisces in December? What is this fossilized wood energy about for Pisces in December? Mm, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, this is really heavy. <laughs> I think... Um, Pisces suns, you may have messages in your moon sign or in your rising sign because this feels like it's more heavy. <laughs> it's, it's for the Pisces moons or Pisces venuses. But take it if it resonates. Don't let it take from you if it doesn't. We also have the king of Pe peasants. Oh my days. The king of pentacles coming out reversed. What is this fossilized wood about for Pisces spirit? Okay, we also have judgment. Wow. 
and at the back of the deck we have justice reversed so I see that in the month of December you are going to have to separate yourself from unfair situations, unfair partnerships, unfair relationships that are off balance in the sense of one person is expecting too much or one person is not able to hold up their end of the bargain. There's definitely a theme of separation for you guys and it could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be a partner, it could be a workplace but you would know what it is because it's something that you've spent a lot of time thinking about. It's something from your past that is very heavy in your heart. And it's something that makes you feel very nervous about the future. It's something that you already think coming into December, you need to distance yourself from, especially with the five of cups being here. It's a healthy process of grieving and letting go of losing and changing how you feel about a situation because that is the natural process when these things happen. Our feelings Feelings change. With the King of Pentacles reversed, there's a selfishness here of someone only choosing what they want and what is in their best interest. And I think that this is more like it's not about right or wrong because for some of you, it's you that have chosen what is in your best interest at the expense of someone else. And then for others of you, it's someone else choosing what is in their best interest at the expense of yourself. There is a feeling here of someone not prioritizing the same things as the other person, which is what leads to the relationship breakdown or the commitment breakdown. It feels like someone is being used for the expense of another. And I also get this strong energy of like a resurrection as though this is a lesson that many of you have already been through and that you're going to repeat it with judgment until your actions change. Fossilized wood is an interesting theme though for this message because that theme is about nurturing what matters to you and it's about putting the right efforts in at the right time in order to get the right outcomes. I do see this as a healing energy of slow and steady progress and it also feels like the kind of energy that is connected to the sentimental value of a situation but that could be your downfall because you're so sentimentally attached to the situation it may take you longer to process what is going on and the fact that this is not a fair situation to be in. So what is the advice in this theme for Pisces? I realize it's really dark it's because it's actually very bright so the camera is trying to focus okay what is the advice for Pisces in this situation spirit what is the advice for Pisces Oof, in this situation we have the four of Pentacles oh my gosh I'm gonna get one more advice card four of Pentacles reversed what is the advice we also have the eight of swords upright and we have the daughter of cups reverse that's a page of cups hermit reverse at the back of the deck your advice is about making sure that you're paying attention to the truth that you're not getting unsolicited advice from people who don't know what's going on and that you're trusting your instincts here your wisdom is what will give you the answers but for as long as you choose to kind of stay and think there's got to be more to this the more you're going to find yourself being used and manipulated I do feel like this is about letting go with the four of pentacles reversed and recognizing that you deserve more on a tangible level you deserve to receive more you deserve to have more this camera situation is so frustrating I might have to zoom in that might make it focus more there we go um, and then the eight of swords is saying you're only as stuck as you let yourself be the situation will feel hopeless and helpless if you let it feel that way but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a situation in which you're the victim and you're martyring yourselves and I'm sorry if I'm coming across really harsh I just want to make sure that when you're in this situation you realize that it's all about perspective and for as long as you see yourself being the victim and trapped for as long as you will be basically um, the daughter of cups reversed is an interesting energy it's talking about taking an unapologetic approach and really speaking your truth and voicing your concerns and not being afraid to say how you what you feel and how you feel even if you don't feel like you have enough experience um, there's almost a feeling of you being afraid to talk like this because you think you're dealing with someone who is more emotionally who's going through a worse situation that's what it feels like so my feelings don't matter because you know more and you've been through more than me and that's not true take an unapologetic um, approach and don't invalidate your feelings just because you may not have had similar experiences as whatever it is that you're up against 
So let us move forward. We're going to have a look at side real space over here now. So annoying that the camera is doing this, but I'm going to try to get it to focus on your cards over here. What is side real space talking about for Pisces, please, spirit? What is side real space talking about for Pisces? We have the Four of Cups coming out upright. What is Sides Real Space talking about for Pisces, please, Spirit? Okay. We have the Hermit card reversed again. What is this card talking about for Pisces? And we have the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay. At the back of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles upright. I might get my other deck out here as well. So side real space, let me just drink some water. Side real space is this idea of the void and the fact that space just keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and on forever. And there's so many anomalies and there's so many different things that we have to consider when we think of space. And I just feel like this is the classic feeling of emotional restlessness and mental overthinking. There is a feeling here of you missing out on an opportunity due to your personal rejection or due to the fact that you feel like you made the wrong choices. And the truth is, this is connected to the past. It has a strong feeling of nostalgia attached to it, or at least a would have, could have, should have, if I knew then what I know now. And there seems to be a constant feeling of that in December for some reason. It keeps coming up. And I know that we get into these kinds of energies when we've had a series of unfortunate events and when we feel like we've made decisions that we regret in a multitude. Unfortunately, it feels like it's not just a case of one-off. It feels like you continue to kind of put yourself in this position where you're like, why didn't I do this? Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing this? And so I feel like a common theme for you here is that you're going to need to reconcile with the fact that you did the best that you could with the information that you have. Mistakes are natural parts of progression and you can't possibly know and learn until you have that hindsight. So use the information that you you have now in your present to process what you have been through so that you don't make the same mistakes in the future but you're going to have to find peace and acceptance in what has already happened you definitely feel like you're bored and you're missing out on something some of you feel like you may have rejected something that you really wanted or you may have turned down an offer that you really wanted and in December there's just this constant feeling of you trying to either numb yourself from that or being highly and acutely aware of the fact that you're not living your best life. So I do want to get you advice for this. And then we need to have a look at your love life because that seems to be very connected to these themes. So what is the advice for Pisces when it comes to side real space? What is the advice for Pisces? <clears throat> what is the advice for Pisces spirit? We have the Mother of Cups showing up in the upright position. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. At the back of the deck is the Devil card. So your advice has a lot to do with gratification and scapegoats. When we blame other things or when we use things to forget about other things. Your advice is you're only human. You deserve to experience, you deserve to feel, and you deserve to enjoy the life that you lead. But you need to know that when you dance with the devil or when you make a deal with the devil, it's always in the devil's best interest. Engaging in behaviors that are instantly Gratifi gratifying <laughs> um, always lead to lessons because we're not getting that long-term solution that we want, that we need. So, I mean, it's fine to blow off steam. We're all human, especially with a devil card here. We all deserve to feel and we all deserve to experience. I just feel like you're maybe torturing yourself a lot or you're not learning the wisdom of your experiences fast enough to the point where you're making the same mistakes over and over again here. The Mother of Cups is saying, give yourself time and space to feel before you act, to connect to your intuition and to understand what it is that your heart really wants. And then with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, you have to consider how actions can be 
how insignificant they may seem, they do have serious repercussions. They do have serious outcomes. They do have serious um, repercussions is the main message here. Whether they're your actions or somebody else's and you're reacting to their actions, consider how every action and reaction has repercussions. And I feel like that's your biggest advice, sweet. Side real space is saying technically possibilities are limitless. Potential is unlimited. You know, every opportunity has multiverse outcomes, but you can only do the best that you have, that you can with the information that you have. So pay attention to the information that you have and make sure you're breaking the cycle of making mistakes and, and choosing the wrong thing that your heart doesn't actually want. So let's have a quick look at love now. What can Pisces expect when it comes to love in the month of December? What can Pisces expect when it comes to love in the month of December? We have the Nine of Cups. Okay. What can Pisces expect when it comes to love? Oops. We have the Ten of Cups as well. What can Pisces expect when it comes to love, Spirit? Okay, and we have, whoops, the Seven of Swords as well. At the back of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups upright. So that seems to be a common theme for you in love, trusting your intuition and reacting to situations with empathy and thoughtfulness in terms of how they will impact um, the future and what that means for the situation in the in the future. However, that being said, I feel like as much as you should be intuitive and empathetic, you also need to cut yourself more slack and you also need to spend more time with yourself in December. Your well-being, your happiness, your mental health and what you deserve is and should be at the forefront. I do see a lot of connection. I see a strong connection to family in December and trying to connect back with people who are a part of who you are, who share the same values and who may even, you know, be a part of your family unit. It feels like December should be about connecting with meaningful people um, and making sure that you're not letting go of that. I think with the nine of cups being here, you do need to focus on your well-being and you need to make sure that you're prioritizing your own needs emotionally because I see you getting into situations in which there is manipulation or there is at least um, unfair expectations and it all kind of comes together in December. You're seeing the bigger picture and you're also seeing how you've been undervalued and how you may have undervalued situations as well. A lot of subconscious feelings coming out which may lead to anxiousness and overthinking. It doesn't have to though. It's always good to know this so that we can prevent that from happening. With the Seven of Swords upright, I do see a theme in love being um, strategy and just being very careful and strategic about your actions, your communication and what you're showing other people. It makes me think that you may be trying to limit somebody else's view of you. It could have been a love interest in which you're trying to protect yourself from, or you may be trying to protect a love interest from other people. There seems to be a manipulation of facts, information, and actions here. And that could be about self-preservation. In order to look after yourself, you may need to block certain people. You may need to give yourself a clean break. Um, but this main goal seems to be you in tuning in with your mental health, with your well-being, with your intuition and making sure that you are surrounded by love in December and really meaningful connections. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. For more in-depth love predictions, do be subscribed and stay informed of that mid-month check-in. Otherwise, I hope this reading was helpful and informative for you. I hope the advice was really helpful. I hope you got the information that you need and the advice that you need to navigate your challenges. If it didn't resonate 100% because it did feel like a very specific message, you could have messages in your sun, moon, rising signs. Otherwise, I wish you a prosperous, abundant, joyful, successful, happy month ahead. Look after your beautiful selves and I shall connect with you in another video. Bye.